So we're here at IFA 2009 and you're showing this new uh, integration in the car that yeah. you call the Y drive. Correct. So what is it? Okay, let's show you the device. This is the, uh, the device and uh, in order to use this one you need a USB port in your car. So if your car doesn't have one, you can use one of our gateways. Which, uh, why do you use the, the USB port? Uh, it's convenient in standard, so most of the cars having now USB capabilities. Like to charge, you mean, or for something else? No, no, else? to play music. And play music. Yeah, play music. Yeah. Yeah. So what you do is, this is your product. It's just this, this little box yeah. that you connect, and what does it do? This is uh, capable of uh, synchronizing your music between your home computer and your storage in your car and uh, two other applications connecting with 3G. So if you have 3G connection you can play internet radio in your car and you have hotspots in your car. Let me show you the net radio. All right. So this is actually coming soon. 3G from California here at IFA. Yeah. So uh, we have a 3G modem inside connected. From California? What do you mean? Like a company called California that does 3G? No, no, no. it's a California public radio station. Ah, California public radio station. Ah, cool. So it's coming through the 3G network. Yeah. And you. You play it on your standard radio in your car. So that means that you have actually 20,000 channels in your car now? Yes. So if you play, if you copy the uh, playlist file to a pen drive yeah. and connect it to, to Y drive, yeah. you have the playlist. Like the playlist of your favorite public radio or just MP3 Correct. files? No, no. These are playlist files. Playlist files for, uh, for, for radio. the radios. For the radios. radio stations. Yeah. So you copy the playlist files. Because the, the, this whole interface there, this is your your uh, no, no, system. No, no, no. This is a standard radio. It's a Volkswagen system. Volkswagen system. Yeah. But so, how many of the cars in the world can be compatible with what you provide? Any car that has USB port. Any car. So, USB. or you need connects to a USB port. Okay. So it's either it's a factory installed USB or one of our gateways. All right. So if you have yeah. USB, you can use this. Yeah. So you're basically doing like a MiFi for the car. Actually, it's yeah. So your car will yeah. be Wi-Fi capable. Yeah. So you can synchronize content. Between, when you park at home, when you close yeah. enough to your exactly. home hotspots. Exactly. Exactly. It's like 50, 100 meters, something like that. Depends on the wall yeah. and etc. But yes. Yeah. yes. And you don't need the, an antenna or something. It just broadcasts so, uh, the Wi-Fi hotspot. The, from the antenna comes here. Cool. And uh, this is the standard. Power. This is the power connection. Standard for the car system. It's 12 volts. Yeah. Okay. So how much does it cost and when is it available and where are you it's, selling it? It's coming in October yeah. and it will sell around 300 euros. 300 euro? End user price. End user price. Do you need any software or anything? or? It's included. Included? Yeah. It's so included. it's the Y drive. It's a Y drive and let me, uh, let me show you if we have the sufficient network coverage here at DFO. So many people want the part here. You can just... Uh, Play another station. It takes a while when it uh, comes up yeah. and uh, loads the stream into the buffer. And usually at the beginning you have some some drops yeah. right after you get that radio in your car. All right. Uh, one more thing. One more. Thing. Yeah. Let me show you the synchronization. All right. So there we simulate that you're at home. Yeah. I simulate that. Uh, this, uh, this is the. Uh, it was in a standby? Was, it was in standby. That's, yeah. that's okay. So this is the software that you d provide, the WeDrive utility. Keep device connected. So it's, uh, it comes up automatically. Okay. The software senses that WeDrive is up and synchronize the content that, that, you, that you set the folders to the WeDrive. So it means that uh, you can actually store a lot of MP3 files through this system somehow. You can have a lot of lot of MP3s, and you can set what you want to listen next morning in your car. 
So it's both uh, storage of actual files and playlists for web radios and for internet based content. Exactly. Intent. Exactly. Both 3G exactly. and over yes. Wi-Fi. Yeah. Cool. It's yeah. cool. Okay. And can you? Do you need this? Those two uh, connections? Do you need? Can you store like a hard drive to one of these? Or no. Is this is this is for hard drive connection. Okay. And this is for connecting modems like Bluetooth modem and 3G modem. Okay. So you can use use your Nokia 3G phone through Bluetooth yeah. to share the internet. All right. Cool. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Okay. Thanks.